Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to Michael in the Morning. Today is Sunday, September 27th, 2020, and this is your second stimulus check and second stimulus package update. In today's video, we have big news to cover because U.S. Representative Tim Ryan, who is a Democrat from Ohio, said on Friday that the second stimulus package will be passed in the next few weeks. We're going to go over exactly what he said will be in this bill and how he is very optimistic that we will receive $1,200 stimulus checks and other enhanced unemployment benefit measures. Then we're going to get into how Jeffrey Kleintop, chief global investment strategist at Charles Schwab, said yesterday how the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has a good point in urging Congress to pass a second stimulus package soon. Moving on, we're going to go over important information from Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell on the second stimulus package and how it will affect the economy as a whole. And finally, make sure to stick around until the end because we're going to go over how 9 million people are eligible for a $1,200 stimulus check and what you need to do if you are eligible in order to receive it. But before we get started, it would really mean a lot if you could like the video down below and subscribe to my channel. It's completely free to do so, and it currently says about 50% of you watching are not subscribed. So if you'd like to stay up to date on the second stimulus check, second stimulus package, and other investing updates, well then please be sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget, you can get two free stocks valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below, and get $20 immediately when you download the M1 Finance app using the link down below as well. So, U.S. Representative Tim Ryan, who is a Democrat from Ohio, remained very optimistic on Friday that a second stimulus package will be passed in the next few weeks. He came out and told Fox News that he is very hopeful that a bill will pass within the next two weeks, and he explained how there are many, many people that are suffering financially right now in the U.S. and how help is needed now, he goes on to say that the new package will include extension of unemployment benefits, the $600 per week enhanced unemployment benefits, as well as $1,200 checks for individuals. He explained how it will also offer local government support because we're not trying to lay off policemen, firefighters, and teachers. Then Ryan goes on to explain that the main difference between this bill and the other stimulus package is that it's just smaller than it was five months ago, and hopefully we can come to a compromise soon. Ryan said he will also be pushing to get more relief for industries that have been the hardest hit from the pandemic, and he specifically pointed out restaurant owners because he explained how he can't see moving forward with a new bill that does not include help for these family restaurants because he explained they need more help than anyone else. Next up, Jeffrey Kleintop, chief global investment strategist at Charles Schwab, said yesterday how the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has a point in urging Congress to inject more cash into the economy with a second stimulus package because the U.S. has only committed about 15% of its total economic output towards fiscal stimulus, and this is far less than most countries. Kleintop told Business Insider that Powell is right to call for more fiscal stimulus to aid the U.S. recovery. The strategist, who is cited as one of Wall Street's best and brightest, pointed out that as a percentage of GDP, the U.S. has only provided 15% in stimulus to the American people. And he explained how Europe is closer to providing 30% and Japan has provided 40%. So he said relative to the size of the economy, the U.S. has only given 15%, which is significantly less than other countries. So ultimately, he explained how Jerome Powell was right, and he thinks that the U.S. definitely needs more stimulus and put more stimulus to work before the election in November. Moving on, Kleintop also goes on to speak about Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve and how Federal Reserve officials stepped up calls for additional stimulus to pass to avoid an uneven and protracted economic recovery from the pandemic. Jerome Powell explained in a meeting this week that the recovery would move along a lot faster if there's support coming from both Congress and from the Federal Reserve. During the Senate Banking Committee meeting earlier this week, Mnuchin and Powell came out and released specific details of the second stimulus package and how they could address the total price tag issue that is currently dividing the Democrats and Republicans. They essentially proposed reallocating unused funding from the first stimulus package in the next bill that is set to pass. Ultimately, Powell goes on to say that if this doesn't happen and we don't pass more stimulus, then he thinks it's going to be a lot harder for the U.S. economy to recover and much more unlikely 
likely that we make a lot of progress in the second half of this year. And finally, I've been seeing a lot of questions in the comments about these 9 million people who are eligible for a $1,200 stimulus check but haven't received one yet. So I want to explain exactly what is going on there. Last week, September 17th, the IRS issued a news release urging 9 million people to sign up to receive a $1,200 stimulus check. This letter, which was recently mailed out, represents the latest attempt by the IRS to reach people who are eligible to receive a $1,200 stimulus check, but either don't realize that they can claim one or don't understand how to go about requesting it. So this is for people who didn't receive their first stimulus check. So if you didn't receive one and you're not sure if you're eligible or you were eligible, well then this is what you need to do. Essentially, the IRS is urging anyone who did not receive their $1,200 check in the first round to use the IRS non-filers tool by October 15th. And they said that is the last date that if you didn't receive your first check, that you can go ahead and apply. So anyways, that is just a quick update on the second stimulus check and second stimulus package as of Sunday, September 27th, 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below and get $20 when you download the M1 Finance app as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.